Welcome to this feature walkthrough of vSphere 6.5. In this video, we will focus on the vCenter Server High Availability feature and how to enable it through the basic workflow. For enabling vCenter High Availability, or vCenter HA, here are the prerequisites to be followed. Let's begin by logging into vCenter Server. Click the Configure tab, and then click the vCenter HA Navigational link under the Settings heading. In the upper right-hand side of the vCenter HA Configuration page, click on the Configure button to launch the vCenter HA Wizard. The initial screen of the Configure vCenter HA Wizard has two options, Basic and Advanced. For this demonstration, let's click on the Basic Radio button and then on Next. This basic workflow will automatically add an Ethernet adapter to the vCenter server appliance. An IP address and subnet mask is required for this step and will be used for the vCenter HA network. This network must be a different Layer 2 subnet than that of the vCenter server management IP. A dedicated port group for the vCenter HA network is also recommended. Enter in the IP addresses for both the passive and witness nodes. These IP addresses must be on the same network as the network used on the previous screen. Note that the network is displayed at the top to make it easier to input correct IP addresses in the boxes below. This screen can be used to validate the configuration as well as customize the deployment. In many cases, the defaults can be accepted as DRS and storage DRS will be used to intelligently place the passive and witness nodes. However, if DRS and storage DRS are not available on the cluster, this screen can be used to manually select different hosts and data stores for each node. It is strongly recommended to ensure that the active, passive, and witness nodes are all running on different hosts and data stores to provide maximum resiliency. In the final step of the wizard, we can review the configuration settings. When ready, click Finish to start the vCenter HA cluster configuration. The passive and witness nodes are now automatically deployed, powered on, and customized for vCenter HA. Once completed, the active node ensures it can communicate with the other nodes on the vCenter HA network. It then completes the configuration by establishing replication between itself and the passive node. When the configuration is complete, the vCenter HA configuration page will automatically refresh. Please note that this page may show a warning after initial configuration. This is normal while the initial replication completes. In a few minutes, the cluster will enter a healthy state. To view more details about the status of vCenter HA, click on the vCenter HA monitoring link located in the upper right. The vCenter HA monitoring page shows details about the individual nodes, their health, and the replication status. This completes the walkthrough for enabling vCenter HA through the basic workflow. Thank you.